I wrote and illustrated a children's book. It's called The Serious Goose. It is a story of a goose who's serious. Uh, <laughs> I really dug deep for this one. All the money I make from the sale of the book goes to Children's Hospital here in LA and Children's Hospital around the country. You can buy it anywhere they sell books or go to the seriousgoose.com for a copy signed by these beautiful hands, all right? All right. Our first guest tonight is an Oscar-winning actor who is really excellent in everything he does. His new movie is in collaboration with Clint Eastwood. It's called Richard Jewell. It opens in theaters a week from tomorrow. Please welcome Sam Rockwell. <laughs> Thank you, you know, it's like it's your thing. You look good. <laughs> I think maybe the last time I saw you, yeah, I think you were on stage at the Oscars, winning and accepting I was, an Oscar. And I didn't get the jet ski. Oh, that's right. Because yeah. hey. <laughs> so I was blabbing. That's right. We did give a jet ski to the shortest speech. I think you yes. did the right thing, though. You gave a funny speech, as I recall. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Thanks. I did. Yeah, I did. Uh, a little shout out to my dad and right. my mom and stuff. Yeah. Did you talk about like your dad like ditching school and going to the movies yeah. or something like yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. We played hooky and saw Rocky. I think it was <laughs> Scarface. And that's how it all started. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. Yeah. How about that? That's yeah. pretty cool. At, wait, so. That night, after you win the Oscar, did you carry yes. it around all night? I did carry it around because yeah. they wanted you to take pictures with it. Yes, and stuff you like have that. to. Yes, you, you should carry it you around. You should, right? Yeah. It makes people happy to see it. That's right. That's yeah. right. So I carried it around, and then we went to uh, Madonna's party. And wow, all that, right. That got a little Do silly. you know Madonna? I, I don't know her. I met her once, you know, and, and then we ended up dancing, like two or three songs. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Cool. Were yeah. they Madonna songs you were dancing to? the Oscar, you danced with Madonna. <laughs> we were dancing to, I don't know what it was, some Motown or something. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, we're about the same age. I think you're a little bit younger than I am. But yeah. what would you, I mean, because I, yeah. I mean, I was, I think I was actually in love with Madonna when I was in high school. <laughs> Who wasn't? Yeah. What yeah. would you have, I, what, would this have blown your mind to tell like a 15 year old Sammy Rockwell that he was going to be dancing with Madonna with an Oscar in his hand? <laughs> <laughs> I had to put it on the floor, and then I was worried somebody might take Because, you know, somebody stole Francis McDormand's Oscar. Oh, that's right. They briefly yeah. stole it. was Briefly, and it, got, it came back. They yeah. retrieved that pretty yeah. quickly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so, all right, so you have this Oscar. And then what do you do when you go home to New York? Do you check it, or do you carry it on? I, I checked it on the carry-on, and actually I got stopped for a random check. And, I, and oh. a very young woman, young girl, maybe 20, uh, took it out of the bag, and she kind of took it and, and swabbed it like this. Oh, she swabbed your Oscar. She stopped it. She took it out of the bag, and she had, like, the swab, and she was going, no expression. Like... <laughs> and I was like, really? <laughs> That's it? That's all I get? And I don't think she knew what it was. I mean, it makes me think... It makes me think, well, we really do live in a Hollywood bubble. We think uh, that some people don't know about this. Uh, yeah, or maybe she's seeing so many of them coming through <laughs> that it's just like, oh, here's a... Maybe so. Another one maybe of these. So, yeah. I was driving to work on Monday, and I saw a guy in the street, and I thought it was you. And really? I was trying to get what I thought was your attention, and it wasn't you, it turned out. <laughs> And then I actually looked it up to see if you were in L.A. because I was like, what the hell is Sam Rockwell doing walking around like that? By the way, it probably was me because I walk around Sunset quite a bit. But you yeah. were, it was on Sunset. And, but yeah, it might have been. You, but you, it turned like? out, were in New York accepting another award. Oh, that I was. Night. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Did you bring that award through the TSA? To, no. No, no. We no. lost track of that award, actually. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> It's gone? We found it. We oh, found you did? It. Okay. Yeah, yeah, All right. We Who's it. we? You and your award yeah, just... hunting team? <laughs> <laughs> you have guys that do that? <laughs> some real, yeah, some real gomers. <laughs> uh, we, uh... Hey! I like hey! <laughs> um, I watched the show. Uh, yeah, no, it, just me and my friends. We, everything got a little silly, and uh, we, we, we lost track of it. For a second. Oh, okay. And you have it now? We have it. Now. Okay, good. Yeah. I, by the way, I enjoyed the movie. Richard Jewell thanks, is really thanks. good. Thanks a lot. It's, uh, for those, you know, it's funny. Some of the younger people here at the show didn't really know about this guy, but it was such you know, a huge story. It's it, And I'm embarrassed to say I don't remember much about it either. I remember Muhammad Ali carrying the torch, and that's yes. about it. John Hamm remembers quite a bit. And, uh, 
Yeah, it's an incredible story. It's an incredible I remember story. it because I was there in his... I was told this, yes. I was working at a radio station here in L.A., and we, I was a sports guy. We went out to cover the Olympics, and this happened the night before we flew out, and so all the media of the world gathered in this parking lot. And by the way... So you were part of that, that crowd? It uh, looks it exactly... Town exactly as I remember it yeah, looking, yeah. which is really weird. Did you shoot it in that we did. actual? Okay. We did. We shot the exterior was the actual apartment. They haven't yeah. updated that place at all. No, they haven't. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't. And, and I, I'm glad to say we didn't shoot interiors in the interiors. Every yeah. media outlet in the world was there. And at that time, I'd never really seen anything like that. And people were just in the, I mean, there were thousands of members of the media yeah. in the parking lot because everyone was there for the Olympics. And I don't know what they expected was gonna happen, but I decided to call and order a pizza for Richard Jewell oh, to wow. his apartment. What were, you, what, what were you working for? What was the? K-Rock was... Radio here in LA. And I thought it would be funny if the whole world was watching when a pizza guy pulled up and went like, <laughs> like what, where? What's going on? Did he get the pizza? He got, the pizza guy got as far as the parking lot, and then the cop said, what apartment are you going to? And, awesome. and I really felt outraged. I was like, what, are they trying to starve this guy out of his apartment? <laughs> but at that time, it was crazy, because everybody yeah. just thought the guy was guilty, you know? Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah. It's, and they and caught the real guy, finally. Which they caught the, the real guy yeah. much, much it was later. A, pretty much a monster, yeah. But it is such an interesting story, and he's such an interesting character, yeah. and you can really see why they thought maybe he was the guy who did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it almost seems like a, like a John Grisham novel or like the, the Crucible or something. It's, it does, it's, it's stranger than fiction. I mean, I don't read, than... but I, I'm sure that that's yes, true. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not a really a reader. Or Philadelphia. But... <laughs> yes, I've seen that. <laughs> a few good men. But yeah, it's an old-fashioned kind of melodrama, but it's, it's crazy that it's a true story. Well, when we come back, we're going to take a look at a, a clip from the movie. It's called Richard Jewell, directed by Clint Eastwood. Sam Rockwell is here. We'll be right back. You belong to any extremist groups, Richard? No, I hate all that stuff. Richard, this is capital crime here. It was a death penalty. I can help you, but only if I know the truth. Did you do this? No. Are you asking me if I did it? I'm asking you if you had any part of the Centennial bombing, yes. So, if you had anything to do with this. <laughs> I did not plant that bomb in Centennial Park, and I made the mistake of assuming you knew that. All right, well, let's beat the hell out of these bastards. That is Sam Rockwell and Paul Walter Hauser as Richard Jewell, and he did a great job, too. He did an amazing job, yeah, and he looks a lot like the real guy, too. Yeah, he yeah. does. Yeah. He, he really does. Yeah, he's, it, It's funny watching him and then remember, and then I went and looked at some old footage of Richard Jewell, and I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. He really captured him quite well. Yeah, there's actually a real clip in there of the real Richard Jewell, and then they cut back to Paul. Oh, that's right, yes, for, yes. For two yeah. seconds, yeah. Clint Eastwood is the director of the movie. Is he yes. somebody you, like, always wanted to work with? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah definitely. I mean, you know, we, we grew up on his films. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he does... I was in Jackson, Wyoming, and somebody said, yeah, and this is where uh, Every Which Way But Loose was filmed. I was like, oh. what? Oh, my I God. I know, I know. The orangutan, the orangutan was here. Ruth Gordon. Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. I, I got to watch the gauntlet with him on this plane, me and Paul. and he. Oh, really? He, yeah, and he poked holes in it and stuff. Wow. But, yeah, I mean, he does not disappoint. He's got stories like you, he's crash-landed a plane, like, like the way, it, like the Sully movie. His shoulder came out of his socket. He fell off a horse and pale rider. And, you know, it's Does he great. indulge you with all the stories that you want to hear? Oh, and yeah. Tell you oh, about yeah. all the stuff? What yeah, did you? Yeah. What was, like, number one on your list that you wanted to hear about? Um, there were some good ones about Richard Burton and him <laughs> trying to... Richard Burton was trying to get to the pub as quickly as possible, and they were on this motorcycle and, and the, the passenger seat, and Clint was in the passenger seat. Richard Burton was driving, and Clint was like... Maybe I better drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, but uh, <laughs> one but there, of them is still lot. around. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. He's very healthy. But there was a lot of good stuff. There was a time. There was. There's a scene in the movie where we have all these guns on the bed, and there was one that appeared to be a, a 44 Magnum, a, a 357 Magnum, or something. And and uh, <laughs> so Paul and I are there alone with Clint in this bedroom, and he goes, he just grabs the gun, and he goes. 
44 Magnum, most powerful handgun in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Blow your hand clean off, and then he's like, just kind of like slithers out of the room. And, and it's like, and it was like a little kid did it or something. Wow. It wasn't even like Clint Eastwood. And, and it was, and Paul and I looked at each other, we're like, did that just happen? <laughs> That's like worth the whole experience. And he was, you know, he was sending himself up a little bit. That's he pretty has, great. He has a sense of humor about himself. He, yeah. He, well, yeah, and plus he knows. I love that when guys like him, these iconic guys, and you know a lot, you've worked with a lot of these guys, yeah. will, will give you that stuff because yeah. you know that, they, you know, they do it every once in a while, and I think it's, it's kind of a, a loving thing to do. I think it's a way of him telling you he likes you. So I assume he yes. likes you, yes? Yes, yes, along? yes. I think you're um, right. I think you're right. I hope I mean, so. you've worked with Pacino, De Niro, Nicolas Cage, uh, uh, well, Clint Eastwood, obviously, yeah, Christopher Walken. Worked with Chris Walken, yeah, Gene Are, Hackman, are you yeah. close with any of those guys I'm still? close with Chris Walken, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we talk a lot sometimes. Do uh, we, you? We did a play together, and we did a movie together, and um, he's a great guy. He's a great guy. Is he? Because he's one, to me, one of the most mysterious people <laughs> in the world. Yeah, he's actually really, he's more normal than you would think. Yeah, but you don't know how abnormal I'm thinking he might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he, I think he does that to keep people at bay I a see, bit, interesting, yeah. okay. You know what I mean? Because it makes me more interested in him. It's yeah. not working if that's the strategy he's <laughs> Yeah, he's eccentric, but he's, he's actually, he's very, he's very funny. He's Is a he? very funny guy, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in rehearsal one time, we were doing the play, and he's, he just, we were having tea or coffee, and he said, yeah, I would have made a great pope. <laughs> <laughs> he said... <laughs> I would have been I would have been very lenient. <laughs> <laughs> and so Martin McDonough heard that and he put that in the movie Seven Psychopaths. <laughs> and so when we're taking mescaline, that's in the movie, and Chris says that. That he would, yeah, oh, wow, yeah. that was torn yeah. from real life. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, well, it's great to have you here. Uh, nice, next man. time I see you on, or someone that looks like you, on Sunset, I'll be sure to <laughs> it, run him I'm off the road. Clothes, yeah, like, like a homeless person. Are you going to watch that fight uh, this weekend? I, I am very I excited. And big by boxing the way, guy. Guillermo, was that, was that your kid, your liver, your kidney? Yeah, it's kidney, yeah. My kidney. That looked like a rough little shot, dude. It hurt a lot. Oh, my God. You, you, I, it, that's the part that, you're not allowed to hit when you're like, actually boxing. Uh, no, actually, absolutely. He could have dropped it. It was like Joe Pesci and, and LaMotta in, the, in <laughs> Raging Bull, yeah. you know? That's why I say two, two, and that's it, no more. Uh, no, it was, that was it. It hurt too much. Yeah. <laughs> that was right, yeah, man, that was right. tough, See, people dude. say Guillermo doesn't work hard because his workday consists of, like, 45 minutes, but... <laughs> no. When he gets in the ring, you know, he can take any... Yeah, anybody, <laughs> anybody, yeah. All right. Well done. Sam, Sam Rockwell, Thanks, everybody. Richard Drew opens December 13th. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Give back this holiday season in a fun way. Buy my new book, The Serious Goose. I wrote it and drew it. All the money I make goes to children's hospitals across the country. Or watch another gaming video and don't help kids. It's up to you.